Hi, I'm Julie Goodwin, and today the recipe I'm gonna share with you is a vegetarian dish. So it can be a side dish to a beautiful roast, or it can be a main meal all on its own. It's a beautiful Moroccan-inspired roasted pumpkin. So the first thing I've done is take out all the seeds out of my pumpkin, just using a spoon. And this is a Kent pumpkin, and I like a Kent pumpkin for this recipe because it's soft and sweet, it, you can roast it in its skin and it just scoops out really beautifully. Um, a grey pumpkin is a little bit harder, um, so that's nice for a roast dinner, but I really like this for this particular dish. And what I'm going to do is just carve that into wedges, two or three centimetres thick, like that. Make sure your knife is good and sharp, because if you're bearing down on a pumpkin like that with a blunt knife, there's a real chance that you'll slip and uh, if you do that, you could hurt yourself. So, this is a half a pumpkin in two quarters here. And I'm just carving each of those into four wedges. And they're just gonna go on a baking tray. I like to line my baking tray with paper. It, it does save on water and on the washing up at the end of the cook. Right, in another little tray, I'm gonna pop a quarter of a cup of slivered almonds and a quarter of a cup of pine nuts. You can use any nut you like for this. If you've got hazelnuts in the cupboard, they go beautifully with it as well, or walnuts. But I really like the combination of almonds and pine nuts. So they're gonna go into the oven on that tray, set a timer for five minutes, because any longer than that, and you'll burn them. And that's always a bit disappointing. So five minutes in a 200 degree oven. Right, so with the pumpkin, I'm just gonna put a couple of red onions cut into wedges. These are only tiny little ones, they can be bigger if you like. But the way we're gonna cut these up is take the tops off, cut them into half, but leave the roots intact there. Peel off that skin. Nice thin skin on these ones, so you're not losing half your onion. So the reason that I've left the, the root end intact is because that's going to hold it together as it's cooking. So I'm going to cut it into little wedges just like that. And that little bit of root there will keep those in wedges rather than it just kind of scattering all over your tray. So you scatter your wedges of onion in amongst the pumpkin. So now I'm going to add a whole head of garlic to that tray. Now this is a locally grown garlic, it's a Russian variety. So the cloves are really, really big uh, and they're mild, but they roast beautifully. But just any garlic that you've got in the house, in half this away. So the top might fall away like that, but look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Just scatter that around as well onto your tray. So next I'm just going to put a drizzle of good olive oil across it. This is a lovely extra virgin olive oil. Drizzle that over. That's gonna help it to roast and it's also gonna help our beautiful spices to stick to the pumpkin. Next job is to zest an orange. So this is a bit of a Moroccan inspired flavored dish. It's got a, a bit of spiced. There's our pine nuts. And that's why you set a timer. If you get carried away chatting, it'll remind you. So you can see they're a beautiful toasty golden brown. That's exactly what you want. So you take those off the hot pan so they don't continue to cook. And they're ready for your salad. So, as I was saying, we're gonna zest this orange. Oranges grow on the central coast here where my cooking school is and where I live. Uh, we're a citrus growing area and one of the great joys is freshly squeezed orange juice straight off the tree in the backyard. There's nothing like it. Anyway, a bit of that uh, fruit and spice that Moroccan cookery is known for. If it's a big orange like this, you just need to zest about half of it. And then we've got a little bit of cinnamon, so about a teaspoon of that, just sprinkle it. That'll be quite distinct when you eat it beautiful, or maybe about half that, and about a teaspoon of cumin, ground cumin seed. Beautiful. A good pinch of sea salt, 
and a generous grind of black pepper. And then I'm just gonna put that tray in the oven, a nice hot oven, 200 degrees, for around about 45 minutes or until it's beautiful golden brown and that pumpkin is cooked through. So I'm gonna serve this up with a bed of beautiful labna. Labna is a yogurt cheese and you can buy it from the deli or from some, sometimes the supermarket or the fruit shop, but you can also make your own so easily and so inexpensively that I'd recommend you give it a go. I like to use a natural Greek yogurt, no flavours in it. And all you need to do is put one teaspoon of salt into one litre of yogurt, stir it around in its own container, and then you just pour it into either a brand new clean chucks cloth uh, or cheesecloth or muslin if you have those lying around into a strainer and you drain it over a pot and you leave it like that for about 12 hours for a soft labna. If you want a harder yogurt cheese, you leave it for about 24 hours. And if you're in a hurry, you can put something on top and put a weight on it and it'll drain a lot more quickly for you. So have a look at this. This is after a few hours of just yogurt and salt straining in the cloth. You get this beautiful sort of spreadable consistency. So to plate up this dish and make it look really beautiful, I'm going to use a board today or a big platter would work just as well. I'm going to lay down some of this lovely labna. I'm going to drizzle that with a balsamic glaze. Then I'm going to put all that lovely pumpkin and onion, our garlic across the top along with some fresh rocket. Then I'm going to put on the almonds and the pine nuts. I'm going to dress it with some lovely fresh herbs and a bit of that beautiful extra virgin olive oil sprinkle of salt and dinner is ready. So this is a lovely side dish if you're having a roast dinner, otherwise it's a lovely Moroccan inspired vegetarian main meal.